Hello everyone and welcome to Stitching Ain't Easy. My name is Ashley. Thank y'all so very much for joining me today. All right. So normally we sat in front of a yarny wall. It's like they know when I'm recording. Wild. Okay. <laughs> anyway, normally we sat in front of a yarny wall. Um, today, however, I thought it'd be kind of cool to switch it up a little bit. So I recorded a video or a short the other day, um, with Normville, our gnome home township in the background or in the short. And I was told that y'all don't see Normville enough and you're missing Normville. So welcome back everyone, Normville. If you guys are new, well, hello, um, Take your Dramamine because you're probably going to want to on this channel. And just very quickly, we'll scope out Normville real quick just because. So, okay, this is Normville. Norm is currently in the yarn room on the yarn shelf making his comeback because usually he's in the background and we hide him. He's going to do that again. So, okay, anyway. This a little stitching ain't easy sign that my husband made. Let's welcome to Normville. Normville sunshine. And just some way really cool things that are in there. So I think here in a little bit, I'm going to work on another gnome home. Because I've been missing adding those and doing gnome home tours and stuff. But honestly, it's pretty daggum full down there. So I don't really know what else we can add. I have several ideas of some fun things, but it's pretty full. So anyway. <clears throat> Normville, everybody. All right. So, sorry for my hand in your face there. All right. So I thought that it'd be cool to have Normville be in the background because it's been a little while. So yeah, um, I've been missing Normville. I've thought about putting this next to the yarn wall just so we can like have both, but you know, there's only so much space. So alrighty. So, um. This is my first video show on my face in a while. Um, we have been sick. I have been non-existent, I suppose. Like, just out of the loop completely. Um, but a few videos before my last video, I showed you guys some amigurumi that I got from Dollar Tree and Family Dollar. <coughs> and they're really, really cool. Well... My mom went back and she got me some more. And so I feel like I should show them on here. Last time we didn't even open one up. I just kind of looked at them and we talked about it. And I had a few people like, would you please just open it? So we're going to do that today. But we're going to go through and see which ones they have. Like, so this is the like Dollar Tree Family Dollar Combo. It's a way cool store. Um, we have one a few towns over. And yeah, so if you guys get a chance, stop in. They don't have these at our regular Dollar Tree. I don't know if they're going to, but Dollar Tree Family Dollar, by golly. That's where they are. So, all right. So, just little amigurumi kits. And yes, they were Dollar Tree prices. Dollar 25 tree, right? So, these are all $1.25. So, they're Crafter Square. This is DIY crochet amigurumi animal kits. And in, this one's a little mouse. Super cute. And it says it includes the plastic needle yarn stuffing crochet hook, plastic beads, which are safety eyes. I know that from the last one. And an instruction sheet. So <clears throat> let's go through and show you guys the different options and so we'll open one up because I'm really curious about what the yarn feels like and just you know the quality for a dollar twenty-five. My goodness. So okay, little mouse and crinkle alerts. Just in case. Okay, this one's cute. Little pink bunny rabbit. Super cute. So yeah, then it gives you the thread and everything to do its little nose and it gives you everything you need, which is really cool for $1.25. <clears throat> Not affiliated with the dollar store. <laughs> so just in case. Okay, little teddy bear. The yellow shirt. Another pink bunny. 
They're very cool. And they have a little mouse. So I got some of these to do for like little giveaway things when I do my lives. Um, should I say we did, mom did, but teddy bear. Anyway, yeah, some of them are for like giveaway things for lives. This one I've seen. And the yellow shirt teddy bear we had too, but this one is a little dinosaur. He's so cute. I think this is the one I'm gonna open. I'm gonna set him to the side. So, okay, this one's really cute. A unicorn. A rainbowy goodness in there. So like I said, there's, yeah, you can kind of see it. Like, so we'll go through it again, but there's like your crochet hook, it's plastic, a yarn, you know, instruction sheets, everything. I mean, it's kind of cool. Okay, um, another pink bunny and another dinosaur. So those ones that are in here this time. Um, last time we had, whenever I showed this, it was everyone but these two. So these two are new. The um, mouse, hello. Mouse and the bunny rabbit. And whenever I was at our store um, and got them last time, there were a few different ones. I keep thinking my hair is sticking up and it's this side by me. <laughs> anyway, yes. Um, but there were a few different ones at the store too. Like some, there's a different teddy bear. I don't remember. There were a few different ones, but anyway, so that's pretty cool too. And I don't know if it's like normal Dollar Tree. Like normally if you're looking for something and they don't have it at your Dollar Tree, you can go on dollartree.com. Usually they make you buy like multiples of said item, but I don't know if you can do that on there and get Amigurumi kits or not. Maybe worth a shot trying to see, I don't know, but. Anyway, so this is like a Dollar Tree Family Dollar special as far as I know. If you guys know any different, please let me know. If y'all just have like a regular standalone Dollar Tree that sells these, please let me know because curious minds I would love to know. So, all right. <clears throat> so, again, we're going to open the dinosaur and we might, we might work with it a little bit and see how things go, but if the dinosaur makes sense. So, okay, like I said, has the plastic needle, yarn, stuffing, crochet hook, plastic beads, instruction sheet. It says choking hazard, small parts, not for children under threes. I think we're good with that. That's cool. Okay, put this in here. All right. So, yeah, the other ones are all for giveaway things for, um, whenever I do lives and stuff like that we do share giveaways like if you guys share it out if you guys like purchase something like just you know for different things anyway <clears throat> okay this is our instruction sheet one side is let's see wait nope all in English okay so tells you about increasing stitches and decreasing stitches and other than that I guess it's like not really beginner friendly is kind of the way I'm looking at it um you kind of have to know what you're doing I don't know y'all okay so well I guess sort of okay in the back it says before crocheting, you have to learn some basic knowledge. So I guess technically, um, it says follow the instructions, put the yarn around your fingers, leaving at least six inches tail till you become familiar with this method. So it's telling you how to start a magic ring and it tells you how to do a single crochet, get your, like get started in your round. So I guess technically it does. It could be beginner friendly. It shows you at the bottom how to do a chain, a chain stitch and how to single crochet, so I mean, I guess so, you know, just depending on if you're a very much beginner or whatever. And then on the other side, it shows you how to increase the stitch and decrease the stitch. So I guess technically you could start from not knowing and get this little kit. So that's kind of cool. All right, <clears throat> only thing is, it's not like normal, like written, um, like a written crochet pattern where it'd be like row one, like six single crochet in the round or whatever. So this says, number one, it says crochet head. 
and that has this little graph. So right here is the first one. It has this little thing. Then right here it has a little graph. So it says, let's see. Round one, do six. Round two, do 12, which I feel like is kind of the norm for Amakurumi. I don't want to show you guys too much of the pattern just because. But I don't think you can see that. If I move my hand, you can. Maybe. So see, yeah, like for the first stitch is round one, six crochet. You can't even see it. Round two is 12, the whole thing. So it tells you how to like increase. I guess if you go back here, you can figure out how to increase, but it doesn't really tell you like, I feel like that's why you need more than just like beginner knowledge because of the slow graph. Because like if you don't know, you know, increase or whatever, then you're like, how do you get to 12 type of a thing? I could see how it would be very confusing, but also, I feel like it can work out. So anyway, it tells you how to do that, how to make everything. And it tells you at the top what you're making. So like that one's a crochet head, this one's a crochet tail, legs, hand, and spots. And then it tells you how to assemble everything. So, <clears throat> kind of bizarre. It doesn't tell you. Let's see. Sorry, y'all. I'm still having trouble with, like, my lungs and <laughs> all that stuff. So, this is the longest I've talked in a while. Okay. So, it says on here that, um, it doesn't really say which colors to start with, but I guess for the dinosaur, it's pretty much just green and then the spots are yellow. It's kind of self-explanatory. But I'm wondering if on the other ones, if it tells you, like, which color you use first, like on this one. And like this one, obviously you go and you continue the yarn or continue your stitches with, you know, the brown and the yellow. <laughs> Sorry, that my brain is not, anyway, but anyway, um, I say it's not with me, but it's usually not. So anyway, <laughs> but yeah, you just continue your stitches. So it's like, you can tell right there that you just use, hold the brown and the yellow and alternate so let's just keep on crocheting the body after that point i wonder if it starts out with the color surely it does let to know which color you're using first my goodness <laughs> anyway surely it does at some point i feel like you can look at it but also like i said if you're a beginner you might need to know those things so all right anywho in here, so your instructions. In here, you have your green yarn for your dinosaur, and it is pretty soft. It's just crafter, yeah, it's just crafter square yarn, which makes sense. So it's just like the you know, the balls you normally get at crafter or Dollar Tree. That's what it is. It's pretty green, and yellow, which makes sense that that's what it is, I suppose, right? A little bit of stuffing, I feel like is a little bitty dude, if that's all the stuff you're making. You're supposed to bring your own stuffing, I'm not really sure, but that's not very much. Your yarn needle and your safety eyes. That's all in there together. And then your crochet hook, and it is a... I have no idea what size it is, it doesn't say on here. It's a little bitty though. So your plastic crochet hook. All right. Let's start a little bit just because I'm curious, per usual. Curious minds, am I right? So, there you go. Do a magic ring, even though it doesn't say really. I guess on the other side it tells you to start with magic ring. Okay. Do six. Magic ring. I should have done a different angle for this one. <laughs> say this is a flimsy little crochet hook again $1.25 so flimsy little crochet hook all right 
So there's your first row. Very much help in my. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Apparently, they can't crochet over there. Just saying. Okay. I mean, it's decent yarn. Like I said, it's Crafter Square. If we've all worked with Crafter Square, then I feel like we know what it feels like and all those things. This hook is super flimsy. Um, and that's what stinks is, like I said, I don't know what size it is, so I don't know. I'm guessing it's probably a 3.5, but... I don't know. It says somewhere on here. Hmm. It doesn't say. Okay, so I'm guessing a 3.5. So it's like if you just got the yarn and use your own hook or something, that might be a better deal. I don't know. I keep telling myself a dollar twenty-five. Yeah. I really feel like I'm fixing to snap the hook. All right, yeah, I just gotta keep saying it. I think I would not recommend this hook by any means, but otherwise, the yarn seems decent ish. You know, again, a dollar 25, I guess, right? But okay, <laughs> second row, pull that together because there's two rows. Lost my instructions. All right, so for the next one, just increase. I'm not gonna make the whole thing right now. I'll probably come back um, with the crochet ramblings or whatever if I finish it. I don't know that I'm gonna finish it. <laughs> Since I've stopped doing craft fair so much, I really have not made hardly any amigurumi. I really don't miss it. I'm just gonna say it's, it's kind of okay. I'm making blankets and cardigans. I finished my scrappy cardigan and I'm so excited. Um, I'm hoping to show you all that in the next, <clears throat> in the next few days. Um, yeah, I'm excited. It's really cool. So y'all can at least kind of see it. So I feel like we should do this at a different angle, but we're already in this far, so it's okay. It's kind of a low budget production, you know what I mean? So it is what it is. Okay. Oh gosh. It's a dollar twenty-five, right? <laughs> you can't go too far, I guess. Add some bougie yarn, perhaps a different angle. Alrighty. So then let's so increase again. Is that right? See, I don't like that. Because then like for round four, which is what we're on, right? It just says 22. It doesn't say like a single crochet, increase, two single crochets, increase, whatever, which I feel like is what it is. Two single crochets and an increase, because that makes sense, because what we're doing. But like, if you don't really have like amigurumi knowledge, you haven't really made like, you know, whatever, then I feel like you'd be really confused right there. Like, how do you get to 22? I don't know. I'm not really sure about the little graph. Auntie who? Okay. I'm gonna keep going for just a minute. So I 
feel like that would be a way better deal to like, you know, like the normal written thing, like single crochet increase, two single crochet increase. make it to where it's going to be like the top of its nose I suppose is where we're starting with yep and then after that you do single crochets for a while and then I think you start to decrease after that so it's going to show you kind of what the size of it's going to be so we'll do that part I'm kind of in the groove now <laughs> making little single crochets in the round so I don't know maybe I'll finish him Increase. Yeah, like I said, I keep hoping it's going to be a beginner pattern, but I feel like if you, I don't know, the whole graph is kind of confusing. So, so far, I'd say it's pretty much prose because it's a dollar twenty-five. My cons would be the graph and this hook. <laughs> that would be about it so far. I don't know if those are good safety eyes. That's another thing that I'd be kind of leery about, especially if you're going to give it to a kiddo or something. Safety eyes are kind of sketchy sometimes. I use them on my crafts, but some of them aren't, you know, aren't made well, really well. I don't really know how to word that. It's not like those aren't made well, I guess, but they kind of, it's kind of is. It's like, you know, they don't necessarily go together. Like I had some one time that if I would have put them in like a almond room to sell, I would have had to glue them just for safety. So I never like to actually be safety eyes. So I never did put them in anything like that. So some of them are kind of, kind of iffy, I guess. Okay. So I made it back around. So there's going to be like the end of his nose. Like this right here is where we're starting. So that's not very big. Maybe we need a Normville dinosaur. That might be kind of cute to add to there, but so it's not going to be very big. So I mean, which I didn't figure it would be, but you know, Okay, then for five, six, seven, eight, nine, for right? Five, seven, eight, nine. No, <laughs> for five more rounds, you just do single crochets. And the, well, no, because then you increase one more row and then you decrease. So, okay. I'm gonna go work on that. And I may, I may just save it for a um, crochet rambling since I doubt I finished it today. But anyway, so yeah, so that's its nose. I feel like it's gonna be somewhat decent size, really. It's gonna be perfect for Norm Bill. I think I'm going to finish it. I wasn't really sure at first, but now I think I'm going to finish it. But, so yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Pros. Let's do a pro and con. This thing behind me is messing with me. Let's do a pro and con. <laughs> right. Pros. It's $1.25 for a whole entire Alma Groomy kit with everything that you need. Safety eyes, stuffing, all of the things. That's pretty dang cool. The yarn's nice. Um... It gives you everything you need. I feel like I already said that one. I feel like that's a few things. Cons. I said I'm going to say that um, the hook isn't that great. I'm kind of rough on crochet hooks too though. So I suppose if you're not rough on crochet hooks, you're probably okay with it. But I crochet like tightly. So I'm kind of like, yeah. anyway. So I'm going to say that. Also, like I said, the instructions. If you're not like keen on amigurumi patterns, it may be kind of difficult. Um, personally, I wouldn't say it's beginner friendly simply for that, if they'd written it out, maybe. Also, it has the graph, so it's like if you know how to read that kind of graph, then that might help you out too. But yeah, other than that, I think it's a pretty good deal for $1.25. I'm wondering if we're gonna have enough stuffing. I really don't feel like that's enough stuffing. Because on here, the head and the body's stuffed. I don't think that's enough, but that's just me. Um, we'll find out, I guess, in the next episode. Um, that's not very much, so I don't think that's enough. That's just me. I have some back, I get the yarn stuff, but like if you were to just get it, I don't know that he's going to be as fluffy as he should be, although his stomach may not be very big, and so that's probably enough. They probably know what they're doing, you know. Let's 
safety eyes real quick. <clears throat> Open that up. It's a little tiny yarn needle, but it's a dollar twenty-five. So need to get a yarn needle. Hey, Lisa. Eyes. I think those might be all right. Okay. Pretty decent. I don't know. It'll whenever I put the back on, that's how we'll know. But I don't want to pop it on there and not come off. It's kind of hard to put on there. See, so yeah, I don't know. I'm not real sure about the safety eyes. We shall see. Um, <clears throat> but I will show y'all in crochet ramblings whenever I do that what it looks like and all those if i get it finished <laughs> but anyway um yeah what the eyes look like and all those things if they work but i'm gonna say it's pretty cool um so for a dollar 25 if you just need like a i don't know say you're in the car and need a project i'm that person that like has emergency stuff in the car just in case because you never know when you need to crochet so like one of these stick it in the glove box you're ready you know that might be kind of cool um also, like, say you're doing, like, a class or something, teaching a class or something like that, you could stand up at the front very easily and, you know, show people how to do it with a little instruction, I feel like. But if you're just a beginner, I don't know about that crap. I've said that a few times, but I don't know why they did that. <laughs> anyway, but, all right. Otherwise, it's $1.25. I mean, really, you know, at the end of the day, it's $1.25. You can't even buy a candy bar for that, so perspective it's a heck of a thing all right so anyway cheap christmas gift for sure if you know how to make omelet for me just go get some of those and hand them out all right so <laughs> i would say get one seems pretty cool to me all right so i thank you all so very very much for watching we're hanging out we're checking out the omelet for me kits and also making one with me partially you know but yeah. and that cute little bunny this bunny is adorable I like it so cute though <laughs> so I'm up for y'all one more time so the bunny the unicorn the dinosaur the mouse and the little teddy bear so <laughs> super cute that bunny is adorable. The unicorn is adorable. And it's cute because it gives you all the different like, colors for its hair. It's so neat. So, little oh, hoops. Anyway, super cool. So, alrighty. Thank you all so very much for hanging out and for checking out the Amigurumi from Dollar Tree slash Family Dollar. I hope you all have a wonderfully, wonderfully blessed day. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to y'all very soon. Bye, y'all. Okay, it's me from the future. Future, future. All right, so <clears throat> I kept working on a little dinosaur dude um, while I was whilst editing this year video, and I got the head completed. So it doesn't take very long at all to whip it up, um, but I got the head finish this is his little head obviously body arms tiny little arms the whole thing it's you know gotta have big head tiny arms that's how it works um i did get the safety eyes put in so that way i can come back and tell you guys about that they i feel like they're gonna be okay they're gonna be secure now that they're in there they were kind of difficult to like well like i was whenever i was um talking on here the plastic part was kind of difficult to push down over like the part you know the I have to say the stem part of the eye but anyway the, it was kind of hard to push down on there um I filled the head with stuffing I feel like it needs more stuffing for sure and this oh, this little bit's all I have left that's not very much at all for like the stomach um, you know how stuffing works once you really push it down that's not very much so I mean there's probably enough to make it, but I'm, I don't know. Um, because like I said, personally, I would, 
I would totally stuff this head more because right now it's just pretty mushy. Um, let's see, let's say we stuff it to what I would normally stuff things to and then see how much is left. Let's do that just very quickly. So, okay, something like that probably. Yeah, something like that's probably what I normally would do, so. Okay, and that way it's more firm. Like I said, I think I'm just gonna make it and stick it in Normville anyway, so it'll be all right. But if you were to make it for somebody, I feel like that's an important thing to note. Like, is it gonna be sturdy or is it gonna fall apart? Or, you know, be mushy. You know what I mean. All right, anyway, I hope, I don't know. So then this is what I have left for the stomach. It's probably enough, like I said, but I like them to be like more firm whenever I make the amigurumi so that way if a little kiddo has it, it doesn't lose its shape and all of those things. So I kind of take those into consideration when I'm making stuff, but that's probably enough for somewhat of a dino tummy. I probably will use more than that normally, but three, what you gonna do? I guess it's you know, looped into a dollar 25, it's probably eight cents or something. So <laughs> it's fine, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys um, cause like I said, I mentioned coming back with the, you know, crochet ramblings and all that stuff. And that's probably what I'll end up doing like for the finished project because I don't know if I'm going to do all that today and I'll go ahead and upload this video today, but I think it's going to be cute. It's going to be, you know, a decent size little addition. Um, I think it's going to be bigger than I thought. It's probably going to be like, you know, that big, maybe three and a half inches, something like that by the time it's done. The safety eyes. So they were kind of a pain to get together, but they got together and I'm not worried about them coming apart now. The yarn works up really well. It's like I said, the crafter squares. If you've worked with that, you know. Um, I feel like there's probably enough stuffing really to do it. So I'm gonna say for $1.25, it's totally worth it. There you go. Like I said, that dang graph and the hook are gonna be my only, really the only cons to the whole thing. I feel like for this, like I said, you could make these make super cute little stocking stuffers or just do this like with some little chocolate, even for Easter. Heck, Easter's coming up. That little pink bunny like that with some little chocolates. That's a good gift for anyone. Kiddos, adults, anyone. So I'm going to say for $1.25, it's a heck of a deal. Right now, as it stands, you could just use this little dude. It's like a finger puppet. I'll make it be a snake. So it's a good deal. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna say for $1.25, totally worth it. Um, you might wanna use your own hook. Make sure you have some sort of a knowledge of increasing, decreasing, counting, I guess. If you're good with that, you're probably good with this. I feel like most of us probably can handle that. So let me know down there if y'all have tried this, you know, tried these amigurumi, tried them at all. Um, yeah. I I would like to know what you guys, what your thoughts were, how y'all felt about them, but I'm going to say, like I said, for $1.25, it's a fun little thing to mess with, so. All right, so again, just like I said before, thank y'all for hanging out. I hope y'all have a wonderful rest day. Please stay safe. I'll talk to y'all very soon.